If you go into the menus on your Sony camera, if you go to Operation Customize and your Custom Keys, down to this one right here, you can change the custom buttons on your lens to do things like rotating your display, you can use it as a record button, you can use it to jump into Super 35 mode, and a bunch of other useful features which I'm going to show you in this video. Now some of these are going to be just for photo or for video, but most will be for both. The first one is being able to rotate the LCD. So if you go into the Find a Monitor section of the custom buttons and then click on this one, now you can rotate the display just by pushing that lens button. If you shoot top down angles or upside down or from weird angles, sometimes that can be really useful for you. You can actually use that button to start and stop recording. That one is located in the Operation Customize, then Movie Shooting. On the FX3, there's actually a record button on the front, and I use that all the time. You might not have that, but now that gives you the option to just push that button and start and stop recording from the lens without having to reach around. Probably my favorite and the most useful is using that button to go into crop mode or super 35 mode. This will only work if you have a full frame camera that can go into crop mode, but it basically means you can now get more length out of whatever lens that you're using. That one is located in the image quality slash record, go down to APS-C slash full frame. You can use it to turn on your markers and then off again, just to have a clean image. That one is located in the top tab, marker display, marker display select. Similarly, you can use it to turn on and off your grid display. That one is in shooting display and then grid line display select. It's also a quick and easy way to select your frame rate. If you want to just jump between 24 and 60, you can assign the button to do that. That one's right at the top in image quality slash record and then recording frame rate. If you use auto white balance for whatever reason in a run and gun fast paced situation, you can actually lock the white balance. That little L there, that means it's in auto white balance, but it will not change now until I push the button again and now the lock is turned off. Really useful if the white balance keeps changing and you do use auto, which I actually do a lot. That one is in the second tab down, white balance, auto lock toggle. You also have the option to lock hold, so it means when you hold that button, it will lock until you release it. Really simple one, you can use it to turn your zebras on and off. That one's in the second tab down, right at the bottom, zebra display, zebra display select. This one's actually quite handy, and that's to turn subject recognition in autofocus on and off just by pushing that button. That can be really useful if you don't need it to be focusing on people for whatever reason, and then you need to quickly turn it back on. That one can be found in the third tab down, subject recognition, subject recognition in autofocus. Really handy one here to get even more zoom using clear image zoom. To set this one up first, you have to go into your camera's menus, click on zoom, and then go zoom range, clear image zoom. That's got to be done first. Now you're able to go down to operation customize and change that lens button to zoom, which is in the first tab at the top and then zoom. Now when you punch that button, clear image zoom appears and you can zoom in and out. Really simple one, which is easier than flicking that switch. You can use it to go from autofocus to manual focus. That one's in the third tab down, autofocus, manual focus, manual focus, autofocus selector. This one is for photographers. You can go from your mechanical shutter to your silent shutter just by tapping that button. If you're in an environment, typically events where you can't make noise now for whatever reason, say at a wedding, in a church, that silent mode can be really handy on mirrorless cameras. To enable that one, it's in shutter slash silent and then switch silent mode. And that's how you can use that little button as an extra custom button.